is a cosmetics tripod. You can buy it on Sephora. Use my code. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm just gonna do a quick review on Candytopia. I gotta go for work anyway, and it was free, so I was excited to go, and I was gonna vlog about it. And then I realized how like underwhelming it really was. So I'm just gonna walk you through it and my initial <laughs> reactions because my initial reactions are the same as my current reactions as in they are not as sweet as they should have been. And also disclaimer to this has no affiliation with anyone or anything. And also if you're a Candytopia person and you were working there, this has nothing to do with you. I think I blame like the production side of it because it just wasn't like well thought out or something. I Maybe mean, not the production side, the logistics side or like the creators because it just wasn't like as good as it should have been. So first of all, there was a long ass line outside. They were passing out hors d'oeuvres, which was phenomenal, except we had just gotten food beforehand. So unfortunately I did not get to partake. Oh my God, oh, what is that? Okay, well, don't look at that. Right when we got to the front, there were people saying like, sorry, we hit capacity. There were like a zillion people behind me. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be very unhappy that you like hit capacity. But the girl in the front was like, no, I told these four girls that they were gonna go. And they were like, the girl in the front was like trying to throw a fit, but she's like, it's just four girls. And so they let us in and you walk into the front room. It was super huge. There was like writing written on the wall, very Willy Wonka-y and the Chocolate Factory, which by the way, the original um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is my favorite movie ever. Like I own it on DVD. So don't fucks with any of that because that is my movie. There was like a little runway or like a red carpet area, which was actually very cute. I really enjoyed like the pink. And so we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And then finally someone's talking like on the overhead PA whatever system and they're talking about the rules and whatever. Food from a sugar rush. Yeah. Now before you begin your tour, let's go over a few no, important rules <laughs> to make sure your journey is truly delectable. And so you're gonna, like, it's gonna open and you think it's gonna be something very, very magical. And it finally opens and then out spills like this older woman. It was both the most and least climactic thing I've ever experienced in my life. And it was amazing. I wish I was that woman. Um, she's basically my hero. So then it opened and it went into like a library setting. And this is where it first like stopped me or like this is where it first tipped me off that this was not gonna be good. There was so much ceiling space that you could see the regular lighting. So it didn't look like you were it, like you weren't getting transformed in a new area. You were just like, walking into a space with like colored walls. Does that make sense? Like it wasn't an experience. It was just more like you were just walking into a room with some books on it. Anyway, walked in there. This woman comes in and she like does her thing and she's like telling us about this like candy lady, um, which I think is like the theme person and it's who you see in like all of the promos for Candytopia. So that was that. And then there was a point in time when she was like, oh, there's free chocolate. And people were like rushing to get free chocolate as if they've never gotten free candy in their entire lives. It was very savage and I was confused because Halloween was literally like a month ago, but you do you weird adults. So anyway, we stayed there and then she was like giving us like the rules kind of again. And it was, oh my God, I'm so popular. She was giving us the rules and the doors were gonna open. And it seemed like it was just building me up for that moment, you know, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where he like does give the rules like the ding dong. Hold your breath, make a wish, count to three. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. With a new life I know to compare with pure imagination. It's that part where like the doors open and it's like magic. So I was expecting that and like the doors open and it's like darkness. And then you like have to make a sharp turn into like a jungle area and it was just really weird and there was like a big tiger that clearly like someone worked very hard on what the fuck is that it got like no attention i felt so bad for it and then as soon as you turn it's like this beach setting and again with those like high wall high ceilings things like it didn't feel like you were at a beach it was like overhead fluorescent lighting with 
like floaties and like a huge hammock it was really sad and i'm walking around here trying to figure out like okay where the fuck would you take a photo in this area because it's so like dim and i was just very unpleased with it not gonna lie currently unimpressed but whatever it's fine it's fine and so we randomly follow these girls be like I think they were over it too. So they like went through this dark tunnel and then I went through this dark tunnel and I was like, oh shit, like there's another room. So the next room was like under the sea and it was really big and it had like this giant seahorse made of jelly beans or something like that, but it was only like this big and it was just hanging there. Like it was just that one prized possession in that entire room. It was just so underwhelming and like it's not really cute because like when you go to these places, like obviously you want Instagrammable moments, which are like, really fucking giant things or really flashy things or just the the setting has to look pretty but it was just like oh no one fucking wants to see that seahorse so i was just having fun and like going down there and like swimming on the floor which i think i brought the best life into that entire um, exhibition so you walk through and you go through and then it's like this huge white trolley room and like this one okay it looks cool because it's like a cove and it goes all the way to the ceiling so the room is very white it's very much like the tv room in willy wonka Doompa, loompa, doompa dee -da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. That room was probably like the most fun, I guess. Like it had the most potential. There were like these like swinging ropes. I was assuming I'd be able to do like a Miley Cyrus situation, but it was not possible. It wasn't even cute. Like it was so low to the floor. I was just uh, really upset. After that, we walked over this bridge with like words and then it went into like an exhibition, like an art exhibition, which was actually very cool. It was made very well. Like fine art was made out of jelly beans or gummy bears or whatever so that was really cool very interesting there was like a throne with mirrors i took a picture on it just for funsies but even still like that lighting was like from above it was like not like a diva light type of situation it was just like a spotlight and that is just not really amazing for photos so took that then went through this like rainbow hall so that was nice and pretty there were just bitches in my way who like wouldn't let me video it nicely so fuck them and then it was like this rainbow confetti room that was again terribly lit it was just like above lighting and just note to self if you're not familiar with instagram or just like photos in general you're just wondering like why do my photos look like instagrammers you don't think about it here's like a rule number one the light always needs to hit you from the front backlit like this window over here that's fucking this up right now not good because it's going to light from the back and it's going to take away your exposure also lighting from above terrible i don't know if you can see hold on terrible like it makes everything look really shadowy and scary also lighting from underneath that should be a given like we're not telling fucking ghost stories there were these confetti pigs that had like unicorn things like when pigs can fly get it and then there was one part where like you press a button and like there's or like there's just air coming out of the pig's butt and you like throw confetti at it like it was weird but cool but also really weird i just didn't get it and then you go to this area like there's a corner where it's like kind of what's it called like an optical illusion where it looks like you you're like falling into a hole which is very cool but number one there's no lighting in this corner and clearly this is like a photographical moment i'm very confused no lighting and on top of that the height of the wall was low so it ruined the illusion i took a few pictures and i did a boomerang on it i'll maybe post it right here but I, like in order to make it look like remotely cool you have to cut it off at the top which again it doesn't even make sense like why did you do that and so after that you're gonna go through like the marshmallow pit which i was assuming was the final exhibition for the whole tour what the fuck what the fuck is this going on i feel crazy yeah Get it you think this is gonna be the best part news flash it was not i will have to say this room had the best lighting but it was probably because like the marshmallows and the whole room was white so it was reflecting off of it so that in itself made it better but it still wasn't instagrammable and yeah that marshmallow pit was the end of everything and then it was done and like we got to go have like have cocktails or whatever or like get free candy and then we also got free gift bags right here i didn't even open it it's been sitting in my car for like two weeks Oops. we got a candy topia milk chocolate chocolate bar this is all i really wanted actually was this candy topia bottle water which is very cute so okay and a candy topia shirt okay. i 
got a size small because I felt ambitious. Oh. I really enjoyed the concept. I thought it would have done amazingly, but it just like executed so poorly. And I don't know whose fault that is, except for maybe like the production company or the logistics company person that was hired or whoever the creative, here. Whoever created this shit, like, I don't even know. I got a lot of DMs that night asking if it was worth it because I posted it on my story like quite nicely. I was honest with them and just told them, you know, I don't know how much tickets are, but if it's more than $10, like you should probably pass. I just wanted to share my opinion with you guys because I did get to go before it closed down. Um, and if you do end up going and you have a different opinion or you share the same opinion, uh, feel free to comment below or let me know on any social medias or my blog. Um, and yeah, I'm just like a really big fan of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the new Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So I feel like this just did me an injustice. It just hurt me in my soul. Thank you. Now we're gonna go into candy puns and this video. Why don't you slide into my candy DMs? Don't be silly, wrap your Willy Wonka. I'd like to lick you like a lollipop. <laughs> sugar, sugar. I get so fun. Oh.